I used to stay up all night trying to find my place, chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness. Give me a little faith, something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel at home. There's no way I'd ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I'm gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am wake up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine. When I really come alive Shell's Glam Home. Well today I'm excited to share some DIY thrift store outdoor decorating ideas. I hope you enjoy. Now you know I love to visit thrift stores. I love to show you decorating ideas on a budget. I recently picked up from my local thrift store a beautiful mantle. Now this mantle guys was absolutely stunning. It was handed in and I just, as soon as I seen it, I knew it'd be perfect for what I had in mind. Now with the help of Hubby, he's going to go in and give one coat of this Dulux Precision Advanced Stain Blocker. Now because it is like a cherry stain, what we want to do guys is eliminate that altogether before we put a new colour on top. That way the colours won't show through. Coat. And what I decided to do, guys, is actually take off the top of the mantle. I was umming and ahhing here whether to paint it white as well, but I decided against it and kept it the same colour. Now I'm going to go in with a coat of the Berger Solar Screen Gloss Exterior Vivid White. This colour guys is such crisp and clean. It's my favourite white of all and I love doing DIY projects with this particular colour. in and gave it a coat with his spray gun as well. He was using this on that day for a particular project he was working on so he offered to do this for me. Not only did it eliminate time guys, it absolutely turned out perfect. I love that he used the spray gun on this particular piece. Drying, I also picked up these panels from my local thrift store as well. These were just $2 each guys. They had a little bit of paint in that on them, but I knew I could give them Shell's Touch. Now after a light sanding off camera, I went in and gave two coats of that really pretty blush pink that I used on my barn door in my previous video. I absolutely love this colour blush pink guys, it is so subtle but yet so pretty. Once it was completely dry, I then moved on to my second panel. I deserve to be unheard, but I want you to see 
Now, while they were drying, guys, I had in my craft stash these decorative fretwork that I picked up from eBay. Now, you can pick these up off eBay really inexpensive, guys, and I'll leave them linked for you down below. I also painted these pink. Now once these were completely dry, off camera I actually hot glued them to the middle of the top of each panel, which you'll see very soon. Now guys, I wanted to make a fake insert for my mantle and my husband had a piece of this fibro and we decided first of all to paint it entirely black. Now once it was completely dry, you can see that I'm pointing out here that off camera I placed this behind the mantle and I've traced out the outline. Now what I'm doing guys is I'm going to add some wood pieces to give the illusion of firewood sitting in the fireplace mantle. So that's what I'm pointing out here. Now, I'm going to start first of all. I picked these ones up at Bunnings, guys. These are heat beads, and I'm going to take some liquid nails and put them in place. But I ended up just walking around farms, picking up different pieces. Hubby off camera cut them all for me, and I had a different variety. I also ordered a few off eBay. They were a little bit smaller, but you'll see how I use them as we go along. Now guys, if you get your nails done like me, I definitely recommend that you use gloves when using liquid nails. I had to learn the hard way guys, but you will see that I use plastic gloves at the end. I also recommend putting down an old cloth because when you push down on the liquid nails, it tends to overspill even when you've finished. So that's why I have that here. Now you'll see here that I've got my gloves on now and I'm using these ones that I picked up from eBay. I was actually a little bit disappointed. They were a bit smaller than what I'd hoped, but I still use them, which you'll see at the end. all drying I then moved on to my final thrift store find I loved this little wheelbarrow guys it was just five dollars and I had to give it a makeover with my beautiful blush pink spray paint now off camera I added some soil and I also went to Bunnings and picked up some really pretty flowers So here it is guys in my garden. You'll also notice my DIY flower frame that I did in my previous video. This is where it ended up and I'm so happy with how it came. Now my garden is still a very much work in progress guys. We've been having so much rain here in Australia at the moment. So I filmed this a few weeks ago, but I actually hung this from the tree with some wire.
So now was the fun part, putting it all together. So I picked up four of these beautiful occasional chairs from Kmart. They are such good quality guys and I knew they'd go perfect in my outdoor area. Also from Kmart, I picked up this beautiful blush pink round rug. And here is my brand new outdoor entertainment area. I'm so happy with how it came. If we only could talk just a little, find a place where the past is forgiven. You moved on, I am stuck in the middle. Tried to run, but there's nowhere to go. Guys, I so love sharing with you inexpensive ways for you to decorate your home. I absolutely love shopping at the thrift store. Here I've took some thrift store items and gave them an inexpensive makeover and got the desired look I was aiming for. I loved decorating this space for you guys. I just shopped my own home, used thrift store finds and changed it around a few times until I got the desired look. I'm so happy with my little pink panels on the wall. I just added some target wreaths which are beautiful pink and burgundy floral and they're so so pretty in person. So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've inspired you when it comes to decorating your outdoor entertainment areas. Now don't forget guys to give me a big thumbs up. It truly helps the channel. Share the video as many times as you can. And I'd love most of all if you would hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of Shell's Glam Home family. So until next time, my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.